Hey, Larry here. Axe 29 today coming to you from Sunny World Headquarters in Chiang Mai, Thailand. It's a lot of new content now on the Axe 29 today YouTube channel. And we're going to take a deep dive into the truth and the lies that are affecting the world and especially the church in these days. So if you'd like to come along, Welcome to the journey. Oh, and by the way, just because others won't does not mean that you can't. I'll see you soon. Hey, Larry here. Welcome to the journey. We're going to continue on today with some good stuff. Last week we ended up with about how vital it was for us not to get stuck on the cruise ship playing shuffleboard and sitting by the pool, etc., thinking that it is all there is to being a believer or Christian, as some people call themselves. So in this section, we're going to we're going to look a <clears throat> a little bit at the modern church of today. And this is something that, that really popped into my spirit the other day. And it went like this. The modern church of today looks nothing like the end time church. The modern church of today looks nothing like the end time church. The modern church has some followers, but the end time church will have disciples. The modern church is addicted. And most of them are addicted to entertainment, self-promotion, self-exaltation, empire building, celebrity personalities, and it's kind of called Christianity Incorporated. So the early church was a body of believers, a family, and, uh, and then it went to Greece and became a philosophy. And the job of philosophers is to take things that are very simple to understand and make them extremely complicated. Well, then it went to Europe and it became a culture. And then it went finally to America where it became a business. And when a body becomes a business, they call it prostitution. So do they want the biggest church in town, the biggest following on Facebook? Do they want to be the richest pastor in their state? Or do they want to make disciples? These are decisions that are going to have to be made. So as we learn who we are in Christ <clears throat> and what is available to us in Christ right now and how to operate in that wisdom, which is the ways and purposes of God, our lives will be transformed. Well, how? How will our lives be transformed? By time. Time is the most valuable thing we have on the planet. <clears throat> you cannot buy an extra second of time when it's your time to leave. Money won't do it. When time's up, time's up. You only have a certain amount of time. So by time in the Word, taught by the Holy Spirit, time in prayer, especially tongues for edification, the revelation gift, private worship, time with the Father, meditation in the Word, in whole images, not just bits and pieces, 
and just the basic disciplines of the faith. That's what it's going to take. When Jesus taught them to pray in, in the, they call the Lord's Prayer, he didn't say, give us this Sunday our Sunday bread. He said, give us this day, this day, our daily bread, daily bread, not weekly bread. So with daily, we will build within us a strength to fight the good fight, keep the faith, and finish the race. So why was David so prepared to face Goliath? Well, for one reason, because under the stress and pressure, he killed the lion and the bear in that separated and isolated place where nobody could see. And we're going to be talking more about that later. So Sunday is not enough. Disciples are not made on Sundays. I can't give someone else my walk of the Spirit that has taken lots of time and years to enter into. I can only teach them how to go to the Holy Spirit, the teacher that will teach you to enter this walk. And by the way, when you begin to pray in the Spirit, tongues for edification, the revelation gift, that is the day you enter the classroom of the Holy Spirit. It's a big day wonderful day so people will have to do for themselves i can't give you my ability to fly the airplane i can teach you how but that involves a process go to ground school get in the airplane put in the time of learning the instruction pay the price learn how to do it for yourself i can give you the knowledge but i can't give you the experience and that takes discipline. The elevator to spiritual maturity is not working. You will have to take the stairs Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You can even go to church on Sunday, but be the church Monday through Saturday. So I don't like discipline. <clears throat> I've always looked for the easiest way. But over the years, I learned that the easiest way when it comes to God is called His way. You know how I learned that? That's right, by trying it my way. So there was a president of a bank that was going to retire, and uh, he had made the bank super successful. So the young guy came in the day before the retirement and said, how did you learn to make all the right choices to make this bank so wonderful? And the president looked at him and he said, by making all the wrong choices. This is the meaning of wisdom gained by actual and costly experience. But when you go to the Holy Spirit, he will take you all the way from conversion, a baby believer on, on milk, that needs someone else to take care of, to maturity, that transformation of growing up in Christ and outgrowing the childish things and leaving the crew, getting off that cruise ship. I can give you revelation knowledge from time to time, but you're always going to have to come to me to get it. Or I can teach you how to get the revelation knowledge for yourself, and you don't need me. You can get it and walk in it for a lifetime. I always want to point you to the instruction manual and the teacher so you can get it for yourself. I only know in part, but the Holy Spirit knows in completeness and fullness. And that was launching out into the deep. That's what the submarine vision was all about. And then it will take you all the way to multiplication, fruitfulness. Then you can also make other disciples effectively. So this is a process. And, and this process takes, uh, takes time. And uh, so people, they, uh, 
you know, it's said that time flies. And, but the good news is you're the pilot. So you have control of the time. Uh, we have no excuse. And we will not have any excuses on that day. So it is better to discipline ourselves now and use the time, take the time, spend the time, make the time, and do the things that are going to help us and bring us into that full relationship with the Father and be transformed into the image of Christ. It doesn't just happen by osmosis. It doesn't happen by magic. It doesn't happen by going to a building on Sunday mornings and listening to somebody throwing some money in the hat and volunteering for some service uh, for the rest of your life. No, that you can do all that and still be just a whiny baby believer, Christian, because that is not how you grow. See, a natural baby, if they're fed, they will grow. And they'll grow all the way up to adulthood. You just have to feed them. Keep feeding them. Keep feeding them. And they will grow. Well, your spirit needs nourishment also to grow. And, you know, I've talked about it before. If you quit feeding the natural man, at some point he will die. But because the spirit is eternal, it doesn't die, but it stops developing. And so if we're not feeding it the word, if we're not praying, if we're not entering into the disciplines of the faith that feed us and nourish us with spiritual bread and drink, and food for our spirit man, it just doesn't develop anymore. And it can just stay a tiny infant uh, from conversion without that kind of food. And, you know, Sunday's not enough. If, if I just ate for an hour, one day a week, uh, at some point I would probably die from starvation because I wasn't getting enough food. But many people, that's all they get. They get a little snack on Sunday and the rest of the week they're just off doing their own thing, you know, whatever they want. Well, you know, we've come to a place and grown, you know, beyond that. And those are the people that I'm really talking to because the people that are still on the cruise ship, you know, they're not going to listen to this kind of stuff. <laughs> you know, they're, they're having a great time and having their best life now. So anyway, we're going to go a little deeper into this next time. And uh, remember, just because others won't doesn't mean you can't, because you can if you will. So I love you. God loves you. Thank you for tuning in today, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.